I'm going to try to show you why you should not buy bottled water. It's basically people are getting much more aware of why they should drink more water. How water, like drinking a gallon of water or close to that every day actually literally prevents disease because our bodies are 70% water and it, disease will come in and, and uh, wreak havoc inside your body if you don't drink enough water, plain and simple. But uh, why then why would I discourage you from buying water? Well, the water that you'll find down the aisle is actually literally not even better than tap water. And I'm going to show you that, but I'm also going to show you why tap water is not good enough either and the you'll learn more in this video than you ha probably have ever even dreamed that you could learn about water so just watch on and let's find out about water I'm just going to start out with St. Louis tap water I'm going to fill this cup with some water from St. Louis Tap. And I've got two probes here. One is showing the pH, and pH is basically stands for potential hydrogen. And it will show how acidic or alkaline that water is. And this is alkaline, it's 9.5. So that's that's a good thing. You want alkalinity in your body because of all the acidic wastes that are trying to become uh, released from your cells. And I'm just going to show you this and talk a little as we go, as I show you. This is showing the ORP, which stands for oxidation reduction potential. Now, that another that's another way of saying how oxidizing something is or how many free radicals that is giving to your body. Now this is oxidizing 226 but it's not too bad. Alright now the reason why oxidation uh, is something to keep a check over is uh, because your body with the free radical damage you can you can destroy cell walls on a daily basis very quickly and those cells will die so it's good to find natural ways of getting more and more antioxidants in a natural way not just taking a pill once a day and I'm just gonna while we're testing these bottled water I'm gonna pour this tap water that I just tested into this filter and this is just a simple pitcher like similar to a Brita pitcher and so while I'm talking th that can be filtering down and I'm going to show you that in a few minutes while we're waiting I'm just going to get a new glass now I'm going to test this water now there's a lot of waters you can get in the water aisle and one of them is called smart water now smart water is is not is it's not terrible I'm not going to say that at all but it really is not smart to get smart water and I'm going to show you why all right I'm going to just pour some of this in the glass and test it You may live in, you know, wherever you live around the country, you're going to have a different source water than me. My source water does come in high alkaline. So, um, but certainly I would, I would never think a bottle, bottle, water bottling company would come to St. Louis and just bottle up a bunch of my tap water and sell it to people and say, hey, this is the healthiest water. And I'm going to show you why not in just a little bit. But <clears throat> neither is smart water. Now, 
Smart water basically is distilled water. They have removed everything from the water and put back minerals. And it is, it's not bad, it's 8.7 alkaline, and, but it's more oxidizing than tap water, 288. So, you're, you, why, why would somebody buy smart water? Probably they want, they're afraid of whatever is in water and they want it all removed. And then they figure that some scientist is adding back just the right minerals and so they're, they're getting just the right water. Well, and that might be true if it wasn't so oxidizing. It's not a bad water. But the, the fact of the matter is, what could somebody be afraid of in the water? Well, somebody might be in a third world country or just live in a location where there's E. coli or some other microorganism in their water. Well, if that were the case, for a very, very small price, they could put a .01 filter uh, in in their in their own hook it up to their tap or not their not their regular faucet but just get a point zero one filter that their water flows through and get rid of the microorganisms it actually is extremely cheap to do that another thing that somebody might be afraid of in the water might be chemicals and that's a good concern there's all kinds of chemicals in the water. There's uh, just even the chemicals that are used to clean the water and, and disinfect it, like chloramine, chlorine. Also there's fluoride uh, that they the municipality will put in water to quote unquote uh, keep people from getting cavities, whereas fluoride literally does damage similar to lead poisoning. So it's not good to drink fluoride. You, you, it's fine to put it on your toothpaste. To topically apply fluoride is, has been proven to be as equally cavity preventative as consuming it without all the um, poison effects of having consumed it. So more and more municipalities are not putting fluoride in anymore. But in the meantime, probably the majority still are. They're just not tuned in to the latest research. All right, and then there's other chemicals that could be in the water. How about pharmaceuticals? You know, people are taking more and more pills every day, and when they go and use the bathroom, that water is going back and getting filtered and getting put right back into the water. It's all, or e either that or it's going down and, and seeping into the groundwater and just uh, it more and more uh, research is coming up with pharmaceuticals in the water and who wants all that stuff in their water. So it is a concern. And uh, most people are not aware that there there are filter media uh, possibilities that get rid of chemicals quite easily or or maybe not as easily there's there's regular granular carbon and there's also a new supercarbon which uses um, KDF and I'm not going to really go into all that but <clears throat> there's uh, also specific carbon uh, f uh, filter media to get rid of fluoride and other things arsenic uh, it, just about anything you want to remove from your water, you can. All right, anyway, that, let's go on. We tested the smart water. Now, let me get rid of that. And now, the smart water, by the way, is going to cost you a dollar for this bottle. I don't know if, if you can get it cheaper somewhere else, but a dollar a bottle, let's say you drink three or four of these a day, let's just say three, that's going to be a thousand dollars a year. You can buy a water ionizer for a thousand dollars a year. I mean, for, not for a thousand dollars a year, for a thousand dollars and it'll last 20 years. So really, if you're thinking um, economically, 
you can't afford a water ionizer, go to my website because I do show you all kinds of things, payment plans, uh, just a million different reasons why it's not expensive. All right. Now this is Voss water. This is not um, distilled or reverse osmosis or anything. This is coming from an artesian well. And an artesian well is just a, a natural method of, of uh, a well uh, having the water from deep underground come up and uh, you collect it and put it in bottles. So uh, what this is actually comes from Norway, by the way. It's it's quite expensive. It's a dollar fifty for this bottle. And uh, let's take a look. It is seven point four pH or seven point three. This is really not alkalizing. And let's look another thing. Three hundred forty eight. It's quite oxidizing. So one other thing, your you're transporting this from Norway? Oh my gosh. It, it, in a, a per, most people who are aware enough to know that they need water, and which is just a small percentage of society. I think most people are just drinking coffee from, you know, soda, various other drinks, and they're just not even realizing that all their diseases are being caused from what they're drinking. But the higher echelon of people who even walk down the water aisle are, and who buy <laughs> the highest echelon that would buy Voss water, they are probably quite uh, conscious of the environment as well. It's, it's just kind of goes hand in hand. And the, it, these are educated people who know a lot and who probably would um, would you know make sure they recycled this bottle etc to not hurt the planet um, <clears throat> but but here's the thing this is this is taking a lot of energy uh, in in transportation costs to get to you and there's there's an environmental footprint effect that is being created way behind the scenes and not only are you not getting significantly better water and I, I just want to show you this it's been sitting in there to set long enough to settle that pH meter down it's actually 6.7 pH and a 379 ORP so that's what you're getting for that unhealthy water all right well now let's let's go on we're, when when we're testing this other spring water, it's called spring water. It's called Great Value Spring Water. We're we're actually I'm going to actually appeal to people who are budget oriented, and possibly feel that they just can't afford a water ionizer. So they're just going to get the best water they can. They they can't afford much. They can't afford Smart Water or Voss Water. So they're going to get spring water, though, which they, you know, obviously it looks very healthy. Spring water, yeah. You go to a spring, you get this water. It should be healthy. All right, well, I'm going to show you what you'll get. And it's only like 50 cents for this gallon. And that's extremely inexpensive. So I'm going to say people who buy this have enough money to buy their water. So they're not they're not poverty stricken by any means, and they could afford much better than this. Then I'm just going to show you what you're getting. Although honestly, just looking at the results, this is better than the Voss water. I, I mean, go figure. All right, so it, I was I'm kind of surprised to see this result: 7.9 or 8 pH. And then the ORP is 294. So it is oxidizing. It's more oxidizing than my tap water and probably more oxidizing than your tap water. But I mean, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not awful, 
But it just, I'm, please watch out.